Good evening. Good evening. Great. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome to your penultima class. How are you, my friends? How was your day? Are you okay? Everything okay? Everything all right? Ready? Okay, let's get to work, my friends. This is the first activity we are going to work on, okay? So we're going to discuss uh, starting with is anyone, yeah? Is anyone. So in groups... Uh, you're going to ask your classmate about people in their family. What are they doing now? And ask follow-up questions to get more information. So here on the topics to talk about, we have six topics. We have traveling, living abroad, taking a class, going to high school or college, moving to a new home, and studying a foreign language. Any questions about these new topics? New words, new concept for you? Living uh, abroad. Living uh, abroad. Living abroad. Living abroad is living in another country. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, like like when family living in the States, family living in Spain, and other countries. Okay, thanks for your question. Thank you. Another question? Hello. No more questions. Yes, Julio. No, Julio. No, no. It's... Okay, Julio. Okay, good. Okay. Let's, I'm going to stop sharing because I, I want you to show you some examples because you are going to speak up with your group and you're going to make questions. Okay, you're going to make questions about family and using these topics. We have six topics and this is the explanation. Okay, now can you see my screen? 
your yeah. teacher. Okay, thank you. So here we have the activity. Okay, this is a, a speaking activity. We have six topics, and this is an example. How are you going to start the conversation? One of you is going to ask, is anyone in your family traveling right now? And one or another uh, member of the group is going to say, yes, my dad, my mother, my sister, my cousin is, he's in Brazil as an example. And what's he doing there? Oh, he's working. Yeah. Is he living? Is he living in the city? Or, or what city is he living there? Okay. So question with present continuous. Okay. So we have the topics traveling, living abroad, talking, taking a class, going to high school, and the others. Okay. So you're going to start the conversation with this question is anyone in your family living abroad okay i have an example here yes my cousin is living in italy is he studying or working there okay and then you continue the conversation the other topics are here is anyone in your family taking a class yes my sister is taking English classes with Mr. Martinez. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is anyone in your family going to high school or college? Remember that college is university. Is anyone in your family moving to a new home? Okay, is anyone in your family studying a new language? Got it? Do you have any questions? Everybody understands. Okay, if you don't have questions, I have questions. What are you going to do in the group? Paul? Again, what are you going to do in the group, people? Ask for questions to get more information with 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 um present. Present continuous. Questions in present continuous. So you ask questions in present continuous, people must answer questions in present continuous. If I ask you, what are you eating now? And you say, I'm eating plantain with bean, beans, an egg, and bread, and a cup of coffee. You say, I'm eating, I'm calling, I'm chatting, I'm listening, okay? In present continuous. But the rest of the class don't say nada. What happened? So understand the activity. 
Okay, if you understand the activity, let's go to the chat rooms. I'm gonna send a, a picture. Okay, let's go to the rooms and speak. Talk. Mm-hmm.
Okay, I guess everybody's here. Let's continue with another activity. In this activity, we're going to discuss percentages of uh, some categories or things that are happening in the typical families in the United States. Let me read. In the house. Facts about the United States. 41% of homes have three or more televisions. 63% of family almost always eat dinner together. The working family. 55% of mothers with young children work. 78% of high school students have jobs. Marriage. 74% of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 marry. 27% of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. Understand these facts? Yes, teacher. Okay, and the rest of their class? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, good. So in groups, you are going to discuss the percentages of these categories, or let's say categories, uh, of facts about in El Salvador. Give your opinion. What percentage of them have three or more televisions? 5%. I, in my opinion, 10%. I think that 25%, and then everybody's going to participate. Okay? Got it? Today, you are very quiet, class. What happened? All right, let's go. Hola, teacher. Hello. Hola, hola. Hello. Se escucha poco. No. Diga. No. Clear. Hola. Hola. Hello, Juan. Hola, hola, hola. Sí. Yeah, clear, Juan. It's okay. Very good. I listen. Escucha bien? Yes, clear. Uh -huh. Clear. Oh, permítame. ¿Dónde está? I'm here. In you. House. Here we are in class. Here we are. Now let's go to the to the rooms. Mm -hmm. Let me send the picture. Oh, I'm sorry. I see the problem, Alberto.
All right, let's continue. Everybody's here now and let's discuss what you have. Um... Sorry, let me see here. Okay, here we go. And let's have a conversation here in class, okay? All right. So, what is the percentage of homes that have three or more televisions, according to your opinion? I want everybody participating, please. Please. My opinion is the seven person of home has three or okay. more children. All right, thank you. Okay, thanks for your opinion. Seven percent. Okay, I uh let's let's listen to another opinion. Twenty four. 20%. 20% of homes have three televisions. Okay, let's continue. Let's have another opinion. One more opinion, please. I think 40%. Uh, the 40% of homes in El Salvador have three or more televisions. Okay, those are opinions. Okay, those are not facts. All right. Okay, let's continue with another what is the percentage of family almost always eat dinner together? Five percent. The five percent of family almost always eat dinner together. Okay, thank you. Do we have another opinion? Of course. Let's have another opinion. The 50% of families dinner together. Okay. One more opinion about this? 70%. 70. 20. 20. Yes. Okay, 20. 20% 20 of families in El Salvador almost always eat dinner together. That's a lot of families. Yeah, eat together around the table. Okay, but those are opinions, okay? Now let's check the other one. What is the percentage of mothers with young children work? Eight, 8%. 5%. A mother in El Salvador with young children work. Mm -hmm. I think nine, 95%. Nine, 95. 95. 95% of mothers with young children work. With babies. Yeah, babies. Uh, little, little kids. Two years, three years. Mm. Okay. Sí, yes. Yeah, that's the percentage. Is that what you think? We're not talking about single mothers. We're talking about mothers with young children. Okay. All right. So what is the percentage of high school students that have jobs here in El Salvador? 50%. 50 percent 50%. 30%. 30%. 30%. 30%. Okay, so young people, like people that is studying at, at high school, have jobs. Part-time jobs? Mm. But it's usually sells things with her mother. So oh, no. It's a job because it's, it's not formal. Yeah, okay, okay. It's, it's not a formal job, but it's an informal job. Okay, I, I, I understand. I understand. But 
if you say let's 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 say that we have 100 students okay we take a, a part of 100 students from high school yeah and you're saying that this 30 percent of the students have a job you're saying that 30 students are working from 100 that is your opinion okay yes all right good let's continue what is the percentage of adults between the ages of 18 and 35 married Seventeen percent. Seventeen percent. Yes. But it's it's possible because the people now is li uh, living. Acompañados. Uh, <laughs> okay, living in a partnership. 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 Domestic uh -huh. partnership. Yes, it's the same. It's uh, the same. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. No, no, no formal engagement. No, no signing papers. No civil marriages. No, uh, um, same. religious uh, ceremonies. Only, only like you know. Okay, let's have an agreement. Hey, let's live together. Okay, we're gonna share a room. Okay, good, good. No commitments. Okay, good. All right. And the last one is, what's the percentage of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents? Now, I think that is 18% because the people live uh, our family in the, the same house. Ah, because of uh, because of the economy. Expensive. Yeah, really it's expensive. expensive. Housing is getting expensive. Yes. Food, <laughs> food is getting expensive. Yes. And, and the, the people. Yeah, continue, Sarah. Continue. Have a lot of children. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's a mistake. Also, the basic uh, services like water, electricity, uh, internet, cable, the bills, bills are, are getting, so life is getting harder, harder, right? So I guess a lot of people is living with their family. Yes. All right. Any other opinion, please? Um, 75. Difficult times. 75. 75%? 75%. 70. 75%. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you. Well, my friends, let's go to another activity. All right. Thanks for the discussion. Yes. That's what I want. Speak up. Express. There are people here that don't want to express. But let's continue. Next activity. This is the conversation.
How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. All right, my man, my friends, <laughs> let's uh, practice. Let's practice. Ana Cristina, let's practice. Eh, sería Marcos o Meili? No, I'm gonna be Marcos, you're gonna be Meili, okay? Okay. How, okay. how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am uh, only child. Only child, okay. Only Re child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child. No days. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Nowadays. Nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, thank you. Now I have Juan Carlos and Fatima Saray. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Mel Lee? Mel Lee. Mel Lee. Yeah. Fatima. No, Fatima. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, Juan Carlos. Okay. Actually, I'm an only child. Really. Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller. These days, uh, but the families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. All right. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Fatima. Don't worry. Be happy. Now we have Christian and Jennifer Tamisela. I mean, sorry. Christian. Yeah, Christian and yes. Jennifer. Okay. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters do you have, maybe? Actually, I'm a chill. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one chill nowadays. I didn't know that. That's about you, Marcus? I can tell a bit funny. I have two brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great, great because you get lots of birthday presents. All right, thank you. 
Christian and Jennifer. Now I have Liliana and, jo and Yolanda. How many brothers and sisters do you have mainly? Actually, uh, I am only two. Really? Yeah. My family in China has only on children. No way. I didn't know that. But how, but how would you, Marcos? I come from a big family and have three brothers and two sisters. What is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. All right, thank you. Remember, I'm an only child, child, and we say China. China, only child, is smaller. All right, check the pronunciation, please. Now we have Sidna and Jessica Elizabeth. Yo soy Marcos. Teacher, okay. uh, Marco. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am only chill. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one chill. Child. Ch child. ¿Cómo, perdón? Child. Chayo. No one is. Perdón. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, did, I yes. didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of a lot of families are smaller this day, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. All right, thank you. Now we have uh, Diego and Elba. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Bailey? Teacher. Pardon. Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child. No way. No way. Nowadays. 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 I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lost of birthday presents. All right, thank you. Very nice. I really like. Now I have Blanca and Julio. Okay. How many brother and sister do you have mainly? Actually, I am my own child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I think not that. What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. 
I had three three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smart, smarter than they but the family are great because you get a lot of birthday present. All right, thank you. And the last and the last participation we have Sarah and Adriana. Brothers and sisters, do you have mainly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most, fa most families in China have only one child nowadays. Child. I didn't, I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. All right, thank you. Thanks for your participation. Now everybody speak up. Ya vi cómo hacerlos hablar, all right? Good. So continue practicing, okay? I send the audios, listen to the audios and repeat. Listen and repeat, listen and repeat, okay? Now it's time to call the attendance. Adriana Eugenia Grajeda. Present. Ana Cristina Osorio. Present. Ana y Leticia García. No. Ana Elizabeth Campos. Present teacher. Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you. Cintia Marisol Mejía. Cristian Ernesto Romero. Present teacher. Diana Stephanie Salmerón. Diego Francisco Aguilera. Present. Elba Milagro Granados. Fátima Saraí Hernández. Jessica Elizabeth Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Josué Abel Luna. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Alberto Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos López. Present. Thank you. Julio César Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Liliana Abigail Sevilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Melissa Daniela Ángel. Present. Thank you. Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez. Roberto Carlos Pineda. Present. Thank you. Sara Elizabeth López. I'm here. Thank you. Sidna Eunice Ruiz. Present. Jennifer Damisela Flores. I'm here. Thank you. Yolanda Yamilet Andrade. Present. All right. Teacher. all right. Thank you. All right, my friends. That's all for now. We have to go. Okay. From King. Roberto Carlos, okay, good, good. We we'll listen to you, okay, Carlos. Thank you. All right, so goodbye good and goodbye. good night. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Goodbye. Goodbye.